hi guys it's for me again welcome back today i'm going to be doing another jamaican cuisine and this time it's going to be chop suey <music> So now I have the chicken, um, which I told you already that it's already sliced very thin. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, add a tablespoon of cornstarch. And then I'm going to add a little bit of salt, probably about a teaspoon of salt. Yes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add in some black pepper, which is probably like about a teaspoon of black pepper you could use ground black pepper if you want but I want that one today so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and I'm going to just rub in all the ingredients in the chicken and the reason why we're doing this is because when it goes into the pot with the oil and everything you want it to be very supple so that it doesn't burn easily and it's easy to cook okay then I'm going to let this sit for a while while I start with the mix that I'm going to be using for the sauce so let's put this aside so now I'm going to go ahead and make that mix for the sauce so I'm going to throw in one cup of chicken stock And two tablespoonful of soy sauce and a one tablespoon of oyster sauce one tablespoon okay one tablespoon and then I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of cornstarch just whisk it around until it gets nice and smooth. So here's my wok, which I already, it's preheating right now. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to pour in about two tablespoonful of vegetable oil. And then I'm going to add ginger, which is one tablespoon. Let's turn this thing down. I have one tablespoon of garlic here and two tablespoons of onion and two stalks of escalion. So I'm just gonna kind of saute it for a little bit so that it can get all the flavor in there. Now I'm gonna be putting in the chicken. Here we go. So I'm gonna turn this up a bit. And this should take a couple minutes to cook. Shouldn't be long. So with the cornstarch, it helps to make the chicken not, you know, stick at the bottom of the wok, okay? So let's just turn it up. So it's now a couple of minutes and the chicken is ready and you see when I told you that the corn started it holds the chicken in place it holds it together so that's one reason why you know this corn starch is used so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to toss some ingredients in like my carrots first let me put a handful of snap peas and my carrot which is one medium sized carrot and also I'm going to put my celery which is that I put like two stalks of celery in so I'm just going to let it cook for about three minutes I'm not gonna put the bok chow in yet and the cabbage because you know that's like very easy to cook and you don't want it to accumulate too much water so I just want this to cook first 
and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put the bok choy and the cabbage in okay so this is what it's starting to look like let's use a spatula here okay so I'm just gonna leave it for a little bit let's turn up the heat so that this can cook so we're just gonna give it about three minutes or so and then I will be throwing in the bok choy and the cabbage. So guys, it's about three, four minutes now since I have this on a medium high. It's ready. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss in the cabbage and I have here a quarter of the medium size cabbage and also three stalks of um, bok choy. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is why I put this in for, leave this for the last because you know this normally springs a lot of water. So you're gonna take it from the bottom and you're gonna bring it to the top. Take it from the bottom, bring it to the top. Turn it a little bit down because you want it to be nice and crispy. You don't want it to get all mushy, you know, all soggy looking. And if you like, you could go ahead, as I said, this is only two pieces of chicken breast. You could add in a third piece if you want, more chicken. And you don't have to stick to these ingredients that I have here. You could have baby corn, um, anything. I forgot to add my bean sprout, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add my bean sprout in now. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Take it from the bottom, bring it to the top. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you could add some more black pepper. So I'm just going to allow this to cook for maybe another two minutes and then I'm going to be adding the sauce. You could put the bean sprouts after, you know, you add the, the sauce, but I just went ahead and put it in. Yeah, it's up to you. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the sauce in that mix, let me just whisk it around a bit. Swish, 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 swish. Okay. okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and pour it over it and let it cook for about another two to three minutes. Okay, mm -hmm. looking good, looking good. So I'm just gonna leave it for about three minutes. So there you have it, guys. Look at it. This looks so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and taste it. Let me take a piece of the chicken. Just to taste it. Okay, let's turn down this pot. Mmm, smells so delicious. This is really good. Very nutritious too. Mm, this is good. The chicken, the cabbage, celery, bok choy, which we call in Jamaica pop chow. That's the other green leafy stuff. This, that's what you call pop chow back home. Mm, this is good. Very good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the stove off. This is all done. And then when I come back, I'll be plating up some food for you. So guys, this is the final result of the chop suey, which is Femi style Jamaican chop suey. Let me zoom in so you can see. You see those carrots popping and the celery the black pepper even the black pepper the chicken everything looks so good 
and I know it tastes good as well. Look at that. Look, see the gravy from that mix that we got. Look how delicious this looks. All right. So I know I wish you were here to enjoy it with me, but if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up give it a like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next vid. Bye.